So yesterday I was trying to post about Alvin and the Chipmunks decode, but TikTok was like, no. So I said, let me go ahead and talk about it because I don't have time to talk, but tonight I'm going to talk. Run DMC, three of them. Then you have the Amigos, three of them, okay? So Alvin came up a lot, the name, but I was like, why would Alvin come up a lot? In my dream last night was Alvin Ailey Jr., right? Um, he passed away on December 1st. So obviously, you, like I tell you, when you have a dream and you dream about people, look up who passed away and was born on the day you had the dream. Because a lot of times they're telling you how they passed away. So I was like, okay, that makes sense why Alan Ailey always came up. And I was dancing and we was doing choreography. Anyways, Alvin and Chickmunks came out December 14th. Okay, this is Offset's birthday. So the other day when Jason Mizzle came my dream, Jam Master J, I realized that he passed away only a couple of days before takeoff. Technically, October 30th, he passed away, right? But takeoff was at a Halloween party on 1031, which is October 31st, Halloween. So the same energies were passing. And he was born in January and Alvin Ailey was born January 5th. So when you have a cross portal, you could see people when you're born and when you die, there is a middle ground where you guys meet up and you talk about who did what. And if you go into the background, like with the whole chipmunks, it has to do with like Ross Bagdasarian. I can't really pronounce it, but 127 and 116, which is Aaliyah's birthday is um, 116. And we talk about witch doctors. So energies could follow you from lifetime to lifetime, literally. Are they literally in the dreams? Artificial intelligence lives rent-free in dreams as well in astral. So the witch, like energies of the things they couldn't understand can now be understood through technology and science so things that witch people were doing before good witches bad big witches the, but the bad witches was doing some stuff which is real things so energy could follow you so they were on liberty records david seville okay so these record companies these different just companies in general they have a birthday and a death day they have an area they do their own types of you know energetic work and music is literally like and energetic work. So Aaliyah passes away August 25th, three weeks before the event in New York, which happens on the anagram of her birthday. 116 is the anagram of that day. So she's supposed to be in the Matrix, and uh, but they replaced her with the character um, Z with Nona Gay, which is her birthday, 9-4, which is Beyonce's birthday. So they replaced her with an actress with Beyonce's birthday. Right. So there's a lot of energy. So she's on a plane with nine people and they pass away on runway 27. 27 is Red and Gematria. Okay. Nine cats, nine lives. What they would do with the witches, what they would basically do bad things to the um, cats, just like those people in the plane. So a lot of rituals going on here. These rituals are connected to this couple. You know, all the stuff going on with them. So Kim Porter, Sean Diddy. Remember, um, Aaliyah was at a party on 7-2, July 2nd, which is a 4th July party for P. Diddy. It was like the Last Supper, right? And he was wearing red. Red is 27 in Gematria. Think Judas, think Mary Magdalene, redheads, alien, little mermaid, singers, etc. So they already they already have things in set in motion, okay? So let's get into like, it connects to this energy. You have the offset, December 14th, and then you have Joseph Simmons, November 14th. So November 15th right here, no, December 15th, November 15th. So remember, we're talking about December 15th, 14th, and November 15th. So these are all portals. Portals last about five to 10 days when you pass away. So the day of your death day, you do see a lot of people born and die at the same time or whatever. But it's usually five to 10 days long that you could see people that pass through that energy. The stronger they are, closer to your birthday, the stronger that you see them. But Gloria ba Foster, she passed away September 29th, 2001. And on September 11th, 2001, you know what happened. That same year, August 25th, 2001, that's when Leah passed away. Lots of rituals were happening. So Gloria played the oracle in the uh, movie, The Matrix, and she passed away right after that event, right? So when they get together and they talk, they can talk because they have direct portals. One has a birthday, one has a passing away day. September 29th is also Twitch Boss's birthday. Twitch Boss passed away December 13th, which is Jamie Foxx's birthday and Taylor Swift's birthday. So imagine you're on a phone call. And you could call whoever's born on your birthday or five to 10 days around your birthday. The more direct connection to your birthday, the more stronger the signal is. So you play that game, telephone, you're passing um, messages. So people like me go to sleep and I hear the messages from people who pass away. And I call up to like people like Sloan Bella, like, hey, they're down here with us. Like we're in the dungeon. Because some people are clairvoyant, clear audience. And they can like literally hear things while they're awake and then tell you what Kim Porter says. Me, Kim Porter telling me my dream. And I'm telling you about the codes, you know? So when I sleep, it's like I'm with them and when they're passing away or, or you know, so I see them cross over coming into the world or crossing over. So this is that energy that is connecting. So then her mom, Sarah Lee Porter, um, 
just reminds me of Jason Lee, who plays in Alvin and the Chickmunks, right? Remind me also Jason Lee from Love and Hip Hop. So just, you know, press pause and read. But there's little, there's the devils are in the detail. There's always details about the connections. Because when you're making a movie or TV show, you're downloading energy from Astro. So you're getting the correct codes, but in different order. So you're watching a movie in your, in your head and you're writing a script. Go watch American Horror Stories where the aliens and the people live on. It's like, I think, part 10. And they're writing scripts by taking these black things. So you, Jason Lee, Jason Lee, August 16th, Stockton. April 25th is his birthday. April 25th is the day she passed away, right? So Sarah Lee Porter with the Migos, with the three little Migos called the DM D Run DMC Migos, Alvin and the Chicks, my three people. And then they had the Chipettes. Chipettes would be like Meg Thee Stallion, Cardi B, TLC, uh, three girl groups. You know, there's always another group that raps and sings that the record labels have control over for energetic things, right? So these are all connected because this is how the telephone call is going. So you're channeling an energy and these are the energies you're channeling. So it happens to organically synchronize, but literally there it is for you. So if you look up Sarah Porter, it reminds me of Sarah Porter. There's a lot of interesting ancestry to go with the Porter last name. If you look up Porter and you look up everything about Porter, this is the ancestral name. This is why it's easy for them to come in and take whatever they want because sometimes your ancestors in the past are still looking for you in the future. It's like Terminator, Sarah Connor. So when you look at 816, think about 618 backwards, which is takeoff's birthday, 816, 618, okay? So these energies are synchronized, okay? Um, so just remember that. And you know, he is on trial right now. Think about YSL, Young Slime, Slime, Ghostbusters, Catching Energies, Blase, Blase, which 816, Stockton, Jason Lee, right? 816, 618. Which leads me to Stockton Rush. Stockton Rush, remember Richard Stockton Rush the third. Um... June 18th, he passed away. June 18th is what? That's that code that we said earlier, right? Um, so he was on the Ocean Gate, the Titanic. The Titanic was burnable. They The men passed away on it. So just think of stock market, stock market crash, stock, Stockton, right? So that's that 618 right there. That's that energy that harvesting A16. That's Angela, but that's the Angela Bassett's birthday is A16. Um, Madonna's birthday, A16. Think Black Madonna. Think, you know, worship rituals. So think about Ocean Gate, see 18 million. They use that number one eight a lot. So St. Bridget, who's a redhead goddess, um, her festival is 810. Her feast day is 210, 21 Savage, 21 divisions of, you know, voodoo or whatever it is. Um, so Mami Wata, the snake, the water, those look like um when you give when you're seen if you're pregnant, you have the strips. Those are like the birthing strips, the mommy water, the water breaking someone being born trying to get the snakes in the grass, doing a little horn so you could kind of charm the snakes, right? So 1-8, when you see 1-8 or you see 21, think St. Bridget, Mama Bridget, Lucy, Redhead, Mary Magdalene, Judas. That's what you're going to see, all right? When you see 27, 27 is Red Gematria. So when they're talking in the news, if you understand what they're saying, they're always talking words, numbers, and codes to themselves, but now you could understand. So when I think about Mommy Water and the snakes, I think about, you know, we need a resolution with Aaliyah and her passing away, you know, on the plane, 27, um with nine lives on there, cats, catness, hunger games, right? So this is what's going on. A lot of energy harvesting. So like the energy of like Aaliyah and all that. This is what's going on right now because they they always use her energy a lot um, when they're doing things. Think like Titanic. Um, think, you know, Ocean Gate, Titanic Submersible. Think like Nat Turner, October 2nd birthday, passed away 11-11, 11-11 to be an angel number, um, October 2nd, and then that's the Wolf of Wall Street energy, Leonardo DiCaprio, Wolf of Wall Street, 11-11 birthday, he played in Titanic, played in Wolf of Wall Street. So think about um, this right here containing to like these pink slips or like the pink penny stock markets. So think about Pink Friday, 821, 12 8, 12 8. Nicki Minaj is coming out on her birthday with Pink Friday. Think about pink slips, evictions, you know, lose everything you got because the pink, the pink slips, okay? That's where we're that's where we're going right now with this energy. Number 27 again, Margot Robbie's birthday, 7-2-27, Renna Gematria. She played in the Barbie movie. You know, we have Nicki Minaj playing the Barbie, voodoo dolls, energetic things. Just think there are energies trying to hijack your consciousness and you want them to get out, get out of your body, get out of Amityville, just get out of town. Think about, you want them to get out. You're giving them pink slip. You are over it. You don't want none of that. 821 was Nat Turner Rebellion. 821, the Haitian Revolution. So it's a lot of symbolisms going on with 12, 8, 821, 10, 28, 8, 12. Those are the dates, reverse curse dates of what happens when we're in a revolutionary time for consciousness.